like and uh oh and subscribe. We have lots of changes. As you guys can see, look at my banner. Wow. Now if I do use the Preston Plays thingy, it does not work. So it, it just is blank. So as you guys can see, it looks like a white towel and if I turn it off. But if I turn it off, as you guys can see, it is looking awesome. Now, last video, I forgot to show you guys this. Extra glass bottles in there. Um, extra glass bottles because there has to be two. There is uh, slow falling potions right there. There's a full two rows of healing. Full row of generation and full row of strength. Yes, it's a lot. I added elevators. I added an extra room. Look at all of that. You guys might think I x-rayed, cheated, or was on creative mode. This entire time I've been in survival. Game mode survival. Allow cheats is off and it's been like that forever. Extra blocks, um, that's because these extra blocks might run out soon. Unique items, XP farm stuff. You guys will see the XP farm in a bit, it's pretty insane. I'll get to the new stuff in a bit, but the new stuff is crazy. As you guys can see, I've been working hard. I'll go over there in a sec. Oh yeah, look at this. You guys will see it in a sec. Don't really need an X. So drop down here. We got a sick pathway. This took a while to get all this wood. And then we got my sugar cane farm. Tons of sugar cane. By the way, I didn't do all of this today. This took like a full on like two days. For you guys, it's been a couple days since I've uploaded the four. This, the Elite Four. That's what I call all these files. All my Minecraft files, once I edit them, I call them Elite Four. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a full on like chess system over here. But yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, now, to, to get up, look. It, blows you up because there's sugar cane and I got I went and got kelp I went and got kelp as well from the sea you boys ready you boys ready look at this all of my old stuff look at this OP not even that OP anymore look at this 30 enchanted golden apples look at all of my ores yeah a full stack of blocks don't want to waste that stack Shulker boxes, one with firework, for fireworks. You'll see why in a second. And then a shulker box with full ender pearls. Protection four, um, unbreaking three, mending, knock back two, plus thorns, so I can just protect. They hit me and it just, you know, hurts them. My foot toe protection has protection four on it. Mending, unbreaking three, thorns three, uh, feather falling, Four. Aqua Affinity and Depth Strider 3. Legs who say knee. Who say knee? No. Um, couldn't really figure out a name that I wanted to name it. Protection 4, Mending, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 3, Aqua Affinity, and also Depth Strider 3. Chest Guard, Protection 4, Mending, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 3, Aqu Aqua Infinity and Depth Strider 3. Protection 4, Mending, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 3, Depth Strider 3, and Aqua Infinity. So, this one is called the brains, um, Brain Cells, Chest Guard, Legs Who Say Knee, Foot Toe Protector, to the no, to the no, 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 no. and then the Protector. I'll grab everything I've already shown. Okay, so one is called Smite Sword of Zerath, with question marks at the end. This is called Smite Sword of Zerath. It has Smite 5 on it, Sweeping Edge 3, Looting 3, Unbreaking 3, Fire Aspect 2, and Mending. Now, the reason I put Smite on this one and I have a different sword with Sharpness is because Smite and Sharpness are, you know, you know, 
But the really OP sword is the one that does more damage. The smite, yes, it's all right. Does seven attack damage. That's not really that great comparing to this, the really OP sword. It has mending, sharpness five, sweeping edge. Uh, it has sharpness five, sweeping edge three, unbreaking three, looting three, and fire aspect. Better sniper. On breaking three, infinity, quick charge three, flame, power five, and punch two. That is one of the best bows inside of the game. I, I did go and search it up on YouTube, but. It was kind of too late for me to, um, you know, use this because once I saw a tutorial on how to destroy spawners, it said use silk touch and I was like, I don't want to try it. Then I watched another video and it said in survival, you may, you, it will silk touch on spawners will not work. And I already called this the spawner destroyer. So it has many silk touch and, um, unbreaking three and infinity five or efficiency five. This is called the OP pick. It has mending, fortune three, unbreaking three, and efficiency five. Now my other OP pick had efficiency four, I believe. Efficiency four, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure. I'll just get the rest of these. Now the last thing is really unique. It's a unique item. I did have it at first inside of that chest called the unique item. And then I was like, I might as well enchant it. But anyways. Let me put all this stuff here. Mending, I'm breaking three and efficiency five. And this is called the best wood destroyer. <laughs> Ground destroyer. Mending, I'm breaking three and efficiency five. Ho of Zarath, mending efficiency five. And I'm breaking three. The best wood destroyer is better than the smite sword. Think about that. And it swings faster. If we add sharpness 5 to this, it would most likely be better than a really OP sword. Or than my really OP sword. But anyways, now finally, my last thing. Yes, you guys just saw it inside of my hand. The Flight Master. That's what I called it because I didn't find any other fucking name for it. I'm breaking three mending and protection four now the reason it has mending on is because i can put it in this hand right i can go down to the farm i have farms up here now i can just go down to the farm smack them smack them you know just smack them you know smack them around and then you know the elite elytra you know it'll the mending will just you know Now, do you guys see why I have fireworks and an elytra? I'll show you guys in the next video. You guys will have to stick around. Yes, I'm, I'm fucking doing this shit, but you guys will have to stick around to see exactly what happens with the elytra. But anyways, so. Now it's time to show you guys what is new. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my silk touch and my smite in there. Um, melon slices, I might as well, no, I'm gonna bring them. Protector. Don't really need it. I might as well. I swear to god, if the zombie isn't there. I'll keep my shulker boxes in there. Okay. So now, what I will show you guys in a bit, actually, I'll show you guys in a sec. Hold on, let me just. Look at how fast this thing just breaks these melons. Something happened. I already have a stack of melons, what do you mean? Do I have like fortune on this thing or something? Why did I get so many melons? <laughs> okay, um, well anyways, so let's go back. Scaffolding, scaffolding. You guys heard tons and tons of cows and this is why. Hold on, don't wanna show you guys that, don't wanna spoil it. That cows. What is wrong with the zombie? Why does it keep despawning? There's supposed to be a zombie right in there. 
scare both of these villagers. Villagers spawn an iron golem and he drops down to his death. Has there, has there at least been some deaths inside of here? I have a pig sp spawner, or pig farm. There's only been one death because he fell off. This is supposed to be a farm. I'll be right back once this thing is all good. All right, as you guys can see, it is now working. God, that took so long just to find a zombie. Actually, no, it didn't because those villagers attract a zombie. Attracted a zombie. But what's so f cool? Is that, by the way, I'm only at seven melon slices <laughs> now. But, um, you know what's cool? At night, all of these zombies just pile up here or on that side. And they just go for the, those villagers. If I added a villager right on top, then all of the zombies would walk in and it would be not just a, you know, ice or golem farm. Um, you know, it'll also be like a zombie farm. But, what I was trying to do is make this really tall. It might fail. But the reason it's like this, and it has all these, like, entrances over here. What I need to do is I have to break it. And I have to push them off. Then once I'm done, I have to block it again. So more zombies can spawn now. I might cheat for this because I do need a spawner and there's no possible way you can get a spawner in Minecraft survival in this series I don't want to cheat in it so so now time to look what has happened inside of there let's quickly go the fuck oh those things come here yeah try to fight my boy Yo, come for me, pussies. Come on. Come for me. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Get away. Yeah, that's what I thought. Run away. Yeah, run away. Yeah, get away from me. Come here, bitch. Where did the other one die? But yeah. These are how you make, um... Slow falling potions. <laughs> An iron ingot. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. Now that zombie keeps despawning, and I hate it. I honestly despise it. By the way, I haven't. I, this is just like a fun. <laughs> you gotta shift to come down scaffolding, by the way. Don't wait by my door, please. My door is my door, and there's many like it. I ran out of phantom. By the way, I'm making those um dingies. All right. So now, time to show you how many um how many iron golems actually die in this thing. Shift to go down. Now this is just a layer. Right, nothing there. But then, how many iron golems will die? So space or W to go up. Yes, W does work. Full stack of iron, two full stacks of iron. Go up here, you just do that. Sometimes zombies die as well. I want to expand this. All right, it's been about a couple hours since you guys saw that last clip. It's not been hours for you guys, but it's been hours for me. So anyways, I put away something and I don't exactly know. Was it blocks? I don't know. Anyways, I guys saw that uh, stuff. That, you guys saw everything. I, every, I think you guys have seen everything. Is a zombie gone? No, thank God.
All right, so. So we have all this. Yeah, look, looking good. So basically, if you guys do not know exactly what infinity does, hold on, let me put away this stuff. Okay, if you guys don't know exactly what infinity is, it is basically when, hold on, it's on a, it goes on a, god damn it, it goes on a, um, what do you want to call it, whatever you call it, the thing, the thingy, the thingy, thingy, um, the bow, there you go, I finally said it, the bow. Now, you have to have one arrow inside of your, um, you know, go to wherever there is monsters, no, I'm not gonna kill that zombie, the iron golems are just dying, you know. Is there anything? No. It's not one thing. Guys, if you don't want me to cheat, please like the video. If I get 10 likes, I won't cheat for this thing. Oh, I hear stuff. I hear something. There it goes. Finally, stuff for spawning. So then, they just fall down the hole. What happens, they go down, right? And then they're stuck here, right? And I just kill them. Get my men back, and whatever they drop, goes down here. So yeah, I need to make this way better. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make a better one. Um, I'll be back once it's all done because this will take like probably 50 minutes just to break this entire thing.